Okay, so today's video idea is actually one of those ideas that you get after suffering severe brain damage. And the idea is to answer two simple questions, really. The first question is, can you run Windows 11 on an Android smartphone? And the second question is, can you game on the Windows 11 on an Android smartphone? Now, the answer to the first question is actually yes, you can run Windows 11 on an Android smartphone. And no, this is not remote desktop. As you can see, you can move the mouse around and it works relatively okay. Now, in the first half of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this on your own Android device without causing irreparable damage in the solar system. And in the second half of the video, we're gonna see if we can play some Half-Life 1 on the Samsung running Windows 11. So let's go. All right, so uh, if you're a little newbie in this process, I guess you could use a virtual machine image of Windows that you can download from the Microsoft website. Alternatively, you can just download a Windows 11 ISO and then install that on a virtual hard drive. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial. Okay, now that you have your hands on the totally legit version of Windows that we're gonna use for this process, the second step is actually creating a virtual hard drive. Now we're gonna use Cameo to create our virtual hard drive. And if you're gonna use Windows 11 with this, I suggest you use somewhere between 20 to 25 gigabytes of storage, or maybe more if you wanna do some more extreme activities with it. All right, so if you want to download Cameo, you can use the download section of the Limbo website. And as you can see at the bottom, you have links to different versions of Cameo for different platforms. We're gonna go into the Windows Cameo link, select the 64-bit option. And as you can see, you have the latest version of the Cameo installer here. Now, when you download Cameo, you're gonna have this folder over here, which is the folder you're gonna eventually have your virtual hard drive in as well. Now, uh, what you wanna do is after installing Cameo, you go into your start menu, you open the command prompt and run it as an administrator, click yes. And this is where uh, you're gonna need the two pretty basic commands. So the first thing you wanna do is copy the uh, address of your Cameo installation uh, folder and type in CD to change the directory and then paste the address in the command prompt. So this is gonna change the command prompt directory to the Cameo installation directory. Now what you wanna do is go into the Limbo tutorials page and you're gonna see this section, install an OS with Cameo. What you wanna do is copy this first uh, line of command that you have, but it's incomplete. So what you wanna do is paste it into the command prompt window right here. And this is where you wanna input the uh, maximum storage you wanna have for the installation. So for Windows 11, it's gonna be either like 20 to 25 gigabytes. Now, uh, for the next part, uh, after creating the virtual hard drive, what you wanna do is to install um, the Windows ISO that you have onto that virtual hard drive. And this is the command you're gonna use for that. However, here as well, you wanna make a couple of little adjustments. And the first thing is you wanna change the CPU from Athlon to at least like the uh, Nehalem, which is like 12 year old or like 15 year old Intel architecture that they used, which is definitely gonna be faster than the Athlon, or you can use something more higher end. And then you wanna change the uh, allocated RAM to about five gigabytes. The minimum for Windows 11 is four gigabytes, for example. And then what you wanna do is change the name of the uh, ISO file. For example, if you have the ISO file that is named like Windows 11, you wanna enter Windows 11.iso. Now, after you press enter, the command is gonna execute and it's gonna install the Windows 11 onto this virtual hard drive created in the Cameo folder. Now, the third step is actually installing the Windows ISO file on the virtual hard drive that you created, which I think probably shaved off like the good half of my life expectancy. Now, let me show you how you can do that. All right, so as you can see, the installation is in progress. As you can see, the uh, file size is climbing for the virtual hard drive. And the process basically involved the two commands I showed you in the first half. So at the top, you can see that we ran the command for creating a virtual hard drive, which is called hardest.qcow2. And the second command is the one for installing Windows 
on that virtual hard drive. As you can see, the file size keeps climbing and climbing, and this is taking pretty much forever. Now we're finally there. I think the Windows is going to be starting pretty soon, although it kind of feels like something's wrong at this point. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so after trying for several eons to install the legit version of Windows, what I did is I got uh, this SUS edition Windows 11, which is basically a lighter version of Windows 11 that is easier to run on lower end hardware as well. Now, because I don't want to uh, get into trouble with Microsoft and you want to be a responsible citizen, I do not recommend using basically Windows builds you got from uh, not very legit sources. So the installation seems to be going fine. Let's see. All right, the installation was a great success. So what we have to do is plug in our device to the computer, drag and drop the virtual hard drive onto the device's memory. Uh, and yeah, let's see what happens. All right, now to configure the virtual machine that we have on the device. As you can see, I have the Limbo X86 version on the Samsung Galaxy S3. And what I've done, I've created a new folder outside of the downloads folder because it can't read the file from the downloads folder. So yeah, what you wanna do is create on the non button and then choose new, which will allow you to create basically a new virtual machine. Uh, as you can see, I have created mine as well. Um, so yeah, let me walk you through the settings. So what you wanna start with is the user interface. You probably don't wanna change anything there. This is a pretty important. So you wanna set the machine type to PC, CPU model, probably Sandy Bridge, although you can experiment for CPU cores, four gigs of RAM, and then enable the MTTCG option as well to use all cores. Uh, now, what you want to do, you don't want to change anything in the boot section. You click on disks, and then for the hard disk A, you just tap on open and select the virtual hard drive file that you have on the device. As you can see, mine is pointing to the virtual hard drive file I have in the internal storage. Tap on the virtual hard drive. And then what you want to also change is the graphics option, which is going to be set to STD. You want to change it to VMware because nobody wants STDs. Uh, and for the audio, you want to choose the ad lib option. Uh, and then for the network, which you want to do is for the network, select user. For the network card, tap on default and then leave everything alone pretty much. And now for the moment of truth, we're gonna try to fire Windows 11 up on the Samsung. So let's see how this goes. Wow, now, would you look at that? It works. The only problem, I guess, is that we have a little bit of an issue with the mouse pointers because the basically the larger one is the Samsung mouse pointer because the uh, Samsung OS, Android OS on the Samsung also recognizes the mouse. But it's not really that big of an issue. As you can see, we have pretty much full-fledged uh, Windows running on a smartphone, on basically smartphone hardware, which also means that even opening the file explorer is kind of takes a couple of minutes. Uh, as you can see, uh, the virtual hard drive we created is basically recognized by Windows as a regular hard drive. How cute is that? 25 gigs. Uh, we also have Firefox, I installed Firefox as well. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do uh, is try to open YouTube basically. Let's see uh, how this goes. So yeah, you wanna give it a minute, and by uh, minute, I mean a few eternities to basically load like anything on this thing. But I mean, considering that it's running um, on a smartphone, like Windows 11 is already like pretty cool. 
But yeah, now let's try going to YouTube and see uh, how the little torture device handles uh, this challenge. Okay, so I had to speed that up a little bit because I don't want to torture you basically. Uh, so I've gone to my channel, I'm gonna try to play um, a video. All right, so let's see, the page seems to be loading. Now we're gonna click on one of the videos and and hopefully nothing explodes. Let's see, click on the video. I mean, come on. So I think you get the idea, but now we're gonna try something even more exciting. Let's go. All right, now for the moment of truth, we have none other than the disk image of Half-Life 1. Now, let me speed through the installation here. Now, would you look at that? We have Half-Life 1 installed on Windows 11 that is running on a Galaxy S23 Ultra. And now for the best part of the ritualistic torture, we're gonna try to run Half-Life, let's see. Now, would you look at that? Now, come on, that is a thing of beauty. Half-Life running on Windows, running on Samsung, running on Android, and we are presented by none other than the Valve Man. Come on, let's now see what we can do here. Oh, how cute is that? Look at the little tiny menu. Let's see what we can change in the video settings immediately, not to make the universe explode. Yeah, we don't need this. We're gonna go into the, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna launch the game and just see what happens. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're gonna start a new game. Uh, let's see, click on new game. We're gonna be a little newbie and start with easy difficulty. And let's see. Oh, something went horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, so after a few hours of struggling, what I'm left with is this handsome man looking at me all menacingly and I'm stuck on the loading screen. I cannot get further than this. I don't know what to do. Uh, if you have a solution, please let me know in the comments, but I am not willing to put any more time into this because it takes forever to do anything on this. So yeah, I think it's all for this part. Okay, so what did you learn in today's video? Should you get out there and buy a Galaxy S23 Ultra for running Windows 11 for gaming? I think the answer depends on how many nuclear reactors you have lying in your backyard. Now with that, if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.